So if you're somebody who maybe has VDMs that you used before in ZBrush and now you want to use them in Blender, or maybe you're somebody who makes VDMs and sells them on ArtStation, for example, then you may want to know how to export them that you can use them in Blender as well. So it's pretty simple. You just go to brush, load brush, and then you open the VDM ZBrush file. You need to have some primitive object loaded. And so now you can see all these VDMs here. So I can select one and I can go to brush to mesh. So this is the VDM brush as a mesh. And now we can go to texture from mesh. And here we have now our VDM texture. But as you can see, there's a problem with it. There's this red color. And uh, all around the displacement, it actually needs to be black in Blender. So we can go to deformation here. And if it's red, then you need to mirror the X axis. So X is selected and click on mirror. And now we can do the same thing from mesh. So now we have the correct texture. If it's blue at the bottom, then you need to mirror it along the Y axis. So we can go to export and then export the VDM as an open EXR, of course. There's still one more step we need to do in Photoshop before we can use the VDM in Blender. So open the VDM in Photoshop. Then go to Image Adjustments, Channel Mixer. And in the green channel, set green to zero and blue to 200. And in the blue channel, set blue to zero and green to 200%. So now we've flipped the green and the blue channel and we've boosted them to 200%. So we can save this. And now in Blender, we can make a copy of the draw brush. We can open the texture here. And then we need to make sure that the clamp is turned off. And then we just do the usual stuff that we would do with an alpha texture. We set it to mapping area plane. And of course, enable vector displacement. Set stroke method to drag dot and fall off to constant. And finally, set the strength to one. And now you have your VDM in Blender.